Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalova, and right now we are finishing up a focus called Cut the Lines. Rio remains an unknown factor in her plans for conquest. It's unlikely, but still possible, that they might come to the aid of the Free Fighters, which would be quite a disaster for our stretched forces. While we can't harm Rio directly, we can damage her trade with the Luchadores and hope that it will disincentivize them to interfere, which... After that, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should go with friends with benefits or partners in crime, but we'll get there in just a little bit, bit but meet me in the middle. It's time for round two. Bad word. Big bad word. Oh boy. Cool, so as you can see, these guys are still killing each other right now, and actually, the other cartel is doing quite well down here. Um, both sides have quite a bit of manpower, enough for now. These guys have bigger industry, apparently. 20 divisions, 18 divisions, and we had to amass all of our divisions on this side of the border, so we're pretty much ready just to go straight on in, so feeling pretty good about that. And actually, for this one, uh, actually, at this point, we can... Okay, so for this side, we actually had to, like, take away divisions over from here, which was very weird, but I'm going to send them back just because, well, we need to cover the entire front line, so... We should do relatively okay, in which I do want to get rid of Klaalok Stagnation and actually get over here, because we could probably use more recruitable population, but eventually, because we still get 5% more manpower, right? Or at least we can get 5% more manpower, like right there. Raider Recruiter, not bad. Army Offense would be really good for more attack, but we'll see what happens, but then meeting the neighbors. After securing our new territories, we should take time to reintroduce ourselves to our reunited brothers and sisters. We may not have always seen eye to eye, but our joint victory has demonstrated that together, there's no travesty that the cartels cannot accomplish. But instead, for now, we're going to go ahead and do what? Arm the Sikiaros? I cannot pronounce these words, I apologize. The majority of our militia troops are little more than thugs, suitable only for terrorizing the infirm and elderly. In contrast, our cartel and forces are well-trained and effective killers, and utilizing them as shock infantry will bolster our army strength. Very good. Very good. Oh, just in time to lose some more, uh, strength? We didn't lose anything, but we do need to get some of these guys on here, because mobile fortifications are... Oh, so bueno. We really could use more military factors, I'll be honest. We could really use some more. We're doing quite well. Obviously, when you're getting attacked from two different sides, not really much can, you can do about that. But, and the heavens have answered. Beautiful, beautiful. But we have quite a few comms to go through. So, as a lot of you guys said yesterday, and to my ignorance, uh, the cartel operations are obviously for our, you know, spies and stuff like that. So, my, my apologies about that. I was big dumb in the last episode. And maybe I still am. But, I forgot about that. You could do cartel infiltration. As you can see, we have a lot of the same guy here. They have, they have different names, but they all look like the exact same person. So I think we're creating clones here, uh, in which we can do cartel infiltration. So we'll probably do this against the Legion, but we'll see what happens. In the meantime, let's go and do that. We have some money. Keep on going under, under us at all times. Overall, yeah, not too bad. We'll give some land maybe to uh, the other cartel as well, but realistically, it's not looking too bad. How many guys have we lost? 24. They've lost about 1,300. They've lost about a little more than 1,300, so... And actually, we're slowly getting more and more territory from them. So, we're about roughly equal. Now we're equal. Now we're even ahead of these guys. Nice. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not really super worried about how the war effort is going. We're doing very, very well already. So, not too concerned about it. Cool. And actually, at this point, just do this. Have everyone on the line. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, we've had a lot of time just to build ourselves up. So, we're looking pretty darn good. So, go ahead and do that if you need to. And I just want to keep an eye on this. Because we've done a 56%, so we should take at least a little bit more than what these guys can do. And why do we have so much support? Because we have occupations. Not bad. Pretty good. Uh, let's see. So, cartel operations for, for spies. Someone says I should do the modern day mod. Um, I'd like to. It's just a little... The modern day mod, whenever I play it, or look at it, it just looks so complex. And even though I'm, I'm kind of somewhat used to, like... Oh, look. There goes those guys. Um, like, some complete overhaul mods. Like, Old World Blues, of course. TNO. Thousand Week Track isn't really too much of an overhaul at all. But... Uh, let's see. Actually, let's divide this up first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can divide it like this. Boom. Uh, hmm. We'll give them two. We'll take two. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. The, the modern day mod just seems very complex. We could take this and then give the give them to here. How would it look better if we did maybe this, these two? What if we did that? I want to be fair. I do want to be fair. So even though we could take another one. But this would help just keep a normal front line there, so that's not too bad either. Alright, not bad. That's actually not too... Actually, that's really good for these guys. That looks really good for these guys. Holy crap, I'm impressed with what we just did there. Very good. Very cool. And there you go. Just in case, you never know what the, the other group might be planning, but that's okay. Machine Assist Encryption, keep going for that stuff. And since we can do this stuff, let's do the uh, Legion. Let's see what happens with these guys. Cool. 
And Sydney gets up here too? Why not? There you go. So we can do the cartel stuff, because I, I do want to see what happens over there. Um, oh, it's over here. We're going to do some more stuff over here. The Blue Exorcism. With the destruction of the Free Fighters, the fate of the last Mascara must be decided. While El Santo and El Mascaras fought back to back to the last, the luchador known as the Blue Demon was nowhere to be seen now. Weeks after their demise, our trackers have brought in the cowardly luchador who, faced with a threat of execution, has offered his fealty to the victorious cartels in exchange for his life. No loose ends? I'll do this one. I think everyone has a price. Because the next time when we play as this cartel, uh, if you want to go this, please go ahead. Um, we'll be very ruthless. Military all the way. Right now we can use more stability, and PP is always nice, so. Easy solution. Do we hear anything? Let's do it anyways. Tone down oppression. No. Retell the story. We're still losing weekly stability, right? God dang it. I don't like that. Go and do that one then. So we get. And we're still doing military stuff. Ruthless drills. Nope. And the stuff. We'll do that one too. Oh, that one closed out of that one. No, no, no. Anything else here? So, these guys are dead. And we'll do meeting the neighbors very soon, which is another two-month focus. Gain a permanent 90% reduction in coring costs of every owned free state core state. Ah, that's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty nice. Oh, and the Vice Royalty is trying to kill them off as well. Well then. I haven't done this one yet, actually. We've not done any sort of other conquests yet, which is kind of disappointing, but you know what? That's okay. Not every campaign requires us to do conquesting stuff. Ooh, we need more radios. Wait, why do we need radios for that? Um, yeah, I'll do this stuff. Simple circuitry. Thank you very much. Wait, so why do we need that? Do these guys need radios? Ah, oh, they do need radios. That's interesting. Pushers, huh? Cool. And let's meet the neighbors. Hopefully they want to be friendly with us. Oh, wow. We actually get four more divisions. Look at that. How good are they? They're not great. Oh, they're actually not too bad then. They got fire teams and demo teams, but our mafiosos already had fire teams, demo teams, and recon. So that's... Not going to lie. That's pretty good for us already. So go on, head on over there. That's fine. Uh, actually, you know what? Go and convert yourselves to mafiosos. Twice in two lifetimes. Very good. You guys all go right there, except for you. You will go right there. Thank you. And train. Training would be good. How much money do we make? 11 every caps. That's not very much. Uh, I don't know. The belt, they're looking really not too bad, actually, at all. But after meeting the neighbor. So, overall, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should go with friends with benefits and get down to wedding bells, ooh la la, or we should do partners in crime and army of two. So it really depends on this campaign, which will influence the next campaign, or the campaign eventually when we do the Art of the Cartel. But overall, at the time of this recording, there is more support for Friends with Benefits. You guys love Friends with Benefits, so. The difference between our two nations is trivial and perhaps non-existent. We have struggled, we have fought, and we have won together. But how can we best cement this new union? Actually, there's a lot of support for both sides. There was a ton of support for both sides, but... Uh, let's stop doing some agency branch upgrades for now. Uh, but, like, yeah... There's a lot of support for both sides. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. We're friends with benefits. You guys love friends with benefits. Which is fine, whatever. Kind of weird, but that's fine. Um, yeah, 76% stability. Less better consumer goods. Enemy work roll times. Yeah, I would rather winning or not down here. Hmm. Actually, with you guys. Uh, I can get more building slots. We could use more building slots, probably. Military factories are nice, though. And these military factories don't cost us caps, which is probably really good for us, actually. Let's do that. Let's do that. Keep making more stuff. Ooh, we're running out of stuff here. Let's do that then as well. Yeah, that'd probably be okay. Keep making more stuff there for the new neighbors. Oh, boy. Reunions are always a touching affair, pushing against the luchadors on both sides. The two cartel forces finally make contact in the aftermath of the long overdue story and victory. While reports of scattered altercations have arisen, the two sides have remained amicable, and their respective leaders met as fellow victors in the captured city of Los Moques. Maria Sinaloa, I presume? Oh, yes, you know my name. We have, like, no caps. Oh, boy. Tone down oppression? Nonsense. I don't know. I kind of feel like I should do another run as Mojave Territories. That was a, that was a lot of fun. I, I love Mojave Territories as well as the Mojave chapters. Both our nations are so much fun to play as. I kind of want to play them again. I think I went with Cement Oliver's Authority last time. I can't remember, though. I can't remember. Uh, a lot of fun. A lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Some of the stuff here in this mod is just really just top notch. And Rio, oh, well, just in case you never know. Rabbit redeployment. We're done with the land auction. Great. You focus on radar. How about this stuff? Uh, uh, we have this one. Platinum cultivation. We could just. Well, I guess we don't really need more manpower, but that's okay with us. So after friends with benefits, what are we going to do? One last bout. The respective equals. Oh, I can't do that one. Tones of affections. Oh, so uh, wow, they ain't, wow, our guy was just killed. Adrian, sorry about that. Uh, let's see. We lose daily political power, get more weekly stability. That's not too bad. Ghoul love is a beautiful thing. We lose political power, they lose political power, but we go, both get weekly stability. Which we basically, or we'll be losing both, um, just, 
We'll both be losing stability regardless, but that helps offset things a little bit. Ooh. Cartel infiltration? Yes, please. Well, the cartel will increase its presence in the region, boosting our influence. Uh, car low cartel presence, less political power, more cap... Ooh. Pa passive caps. Let's see. Smooth talker. Counterintelligence. Heavyweight. Smooth talker. Ling Let's go with linguist. That would be pretty good to do for that one. Nice. We have so much PP. I want to... Hmm, how do we use our PP more effectively? Vehicle designers. Oh, Baja Beast. That's really cool. I like that icon. Noagla's Garage is very nice. Two cents clear one on Cowboy Countries. They finally did that. Some stuff over there as well. Pueblo Air Base. Nice. I like that as well. Ooh. Ooh. Why not as well? Why not? Yeah, actually, we go back up that way. Get more caps. But that's fine. We don't need more caps right now. Frequency analysis. Thank you very much. The easy solution. Um... Eh, why not? Tokens of affection. Oh, lovey, lovey. Oh, look at this. Get from our syndicate to yours. The benefit of friendship. We, I think we want a little bit more than just friendship here. Get more stability. We lose political... Oh, sh bad words. That's a lot of political power lost. Minus 3.5. That is the worst thing I've seen in which you lose so much PP. But we'll do it anyways. Letter of correspondence. Letters of correspondence. Nacio, Mad Bomber, Sebastian. That'd be cool, but we we'll choose you. Oh la la. Love is in the air. You know, drugs, cartels, and population control. Oh, baby. No one can control this steamy hot of ours, though. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Hey, but after that. One last bout from our syndicate to yours. It needs to be something from the hot. Perhaps the band could use some English lessons? Ooh. Nothing shows you care like a firearm. Some English lessons? I'm not sure why you want to do that. Loses. Oh, he's monolingual. Oh, yeah, why not? That sounds actually really good. Even I love sending guns to people. Actually, I don't think I've ever done that, but that sounds like a lot of fun. From my gun, from my gun cabinet to your gun cabinet. With much love. One thing can be said about the luchadors. They loved a good fight. In light of this, one last battle will be fought to commemorate our victory only this time. Match will be on the cartel rules. Very nice. Anything else here? We're still doing that, which is good. Uh, make resistance contacts. No, we're pretty good. Cool. Other comments. So I recommend I play as Joshua Graham as New Canaan. Basically plays New Canaan. Lose against White Legs and be forced down here. I think it was the Vermilion Cliffs or was it this this area or something like that. I, I don't exactly remember. Uh, I think it was this tile. Vermilion Cliffs. But uh, plays them and get Joshua Graham. I still need to play them again sometime. I think that'll be a lot of fun. New Canaan. I need, I need to go, I think, super decadent and then hopefully survive against the White Legs. So, yeah. That's not going to be an easy campaign. But yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like a lot, a lot of fun. So I'm missing some radios. We're going to need a lot more mobile fortifications after we do this, because this will make your guys almost impervious. Oh, that's a lot of defense. That is a lot of defense. And gives you more recon. And gives you a little bit more armor. Actually, some armor. Holy crap. It does lower your speed by quite a bit, which is not very good. But more supply use, of course. Less organization, but that defense and a little bit of armor. Not too bad to get more soft attack as well. Is that worth it for our infantry? You know what? These guys are going to move slowly anyway. That's fine. Just do it. Tokens of affection. Oh, throw to me to you. One last bout. Oh boy. Get to the hot and steaming here. Oh. Confessions, my friends. A connection has been made. Hopefully one connection will be made. Two cartels alike in infamy. In Sinaloa, a lucha split between. From ancient rule break to new mutiny. Facing Saint Devil and Mutant Green. Is love a tender thing? Hopefully we can get this one done. Uh, a night out. Ooh. Celebration. Yes, please. Well, hope it goes well. Complicated circuitry, nice. Miniaturized circuitry, oh yes. I'll keep making them civvies, or millies, I guess. Yeah, let's get some of that going. Oh, we need some uh, circuitry now. Oh, that's not bueno. Oh, we need some more of that too, because of the mobile fortifications, that's fine. Long range radio, thank you very much. Oh, a celebration life in the cartel need not to be a constant array of backstabbing and subterfuge. Sometimes a ghoul simply wants to enjoy life, whether it be a packed beachside fiesta in the Gulf Sun, or a quiet night together at the Midnight Theater. The pleasure of life is in variety, after all. Fiesta, ooh. I like that. Why don't we go somewhere special? Special? I love a fiesta, but... How do we go somewhere special? Even though that doesn't seem as good. Ooh. Quiet night together. That seems a little bit more romantic. Oh, wait. Zapata's... Break the cartels. You and me, other cartel. We defend each other. From... Oh, a moment alone. Oh. Oh, man. I wonder what the devs were thinking when they were, you know, like, writing this out. Like, <laughs> how romantic can the developers get? 
Oh boy. Oh, the gift of family. A gift from the old world. Blues and dreams. Despite their shared status and rule, in many ways, a queen and the bandit come from the worlds apart. One is the last vestige of old world crime, a 300 year scion of the world's underbelly. The other is a product of the apocalypse, living and knowing only the wasteland set before them. And yet, fate, ambition, and an incredible violence have drawn the two together to shape the fabric of the new world they rule. The old world blues are better together. Oh. For civilized tech, new world dreams can be a reality. Ooh. Wait, we get cartel research. Wait, what is that? Cartel research. Is that special something? Uh, cartel research. We have doctrine stuff. I'm probably missing it or something. Because of caffeine out of buffs. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Get more HP. That's, I didn't know that, huh? I'm not sure where this is. So, if that's a case... Our blues... I'll do dreams. Sharing bonus. Yeah. Oh, that's cartel research. Oh, duh. That's not, a, that's not research. That is just, you know, the whole research faction thing. That just seems like the more romantic option. Has a connection been made? Please. The benefit of friendship? Uh, sure, we get more stability that way. Why not? We lose some PP, but we already have a lot of PP anyways. A gift from the old world. Nostalgia is a powerful and dangerous thing. In the final days of the old Sinaloa cartel, its leadership became decrepit and moribund, focused on past glories and cherishing the trappings of the past world. Rather than seeing the world around them, amongst these artifacts was a special symbol, and a deadly ancient blade said to be carried by the legendary El Capo of the pre-war Sinaloa cartel. Maria had no use for such vanities and left them to collect dust in some forgotten cellar, but perhaps such a symbol has a use after all, both to demonstrate the shared roots of our cartel, and to appeal to the bandito's love of personal violence. Make sure to wrap it carefully and don't cut yourself to get the family. Emilia has returned to Sinaloa after an extended tour of the Beltran territories, where she was treated to the finest extravagances and luxuries the southern syndicate could offer. While it was primarily a holiday, Emilia acqu acquitted herself with well in the various intrigues of the southern clique, as well as providing various assurances and messages from the Sinaloa proper. She returns a wiser ruler to be with the most prized gift being a hand engraved revolver, a souvenir from a personal week of shooting lessons with the bandit himself. Did you bring back any vacation photos? Oh, let's hope so. Come on, tokens of affection, please. More connections, more connections. Uh, oh, wait, oh, yes we can. Oh, I can't wait. Golf pre pre preparation aid, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, people from Hawaii. Very cool. And more stability? Yes, please. We could always use more PP and stability. Wow, minus one a day. That sucks. <laughs> That's really sucky. At least the weekly change is minus 0.4% now. 0.4%, so that's not too bad. Three days left. Come on, come on, two days left, because we got some more focuses we got to really do through here, so. One last bout. To a surprise, the irradiated brute known as Mel Malscaris did not die in the siege of Los Mocas, despite suffering wounds that would have killed a normal man or ghoul thrice over. The bullfighter now sits in a bullpen, the object of mockery and ridicule by his once sworn enemies, but a life in captivity would not be fitting in for such a legendary specimen, and it pays to tie up these loose ends. What finale will we get the Green Giant? Bring out the Red Scorpions. Something more exciting, a pair of Dust Devils. Um, let's raise the stakes, bring me a Death Claw. Cool! A fitting end. Mil Mascaris has met an end fitting to his life in front of a braying crowd against insurmountable odds and an untimed, ultimately, pointless show of mach, mach, machism, machismo. Machismo. My apologies. As AIDS dragged giant car the giant, giant carcass to be dumped in an unmarked grave. The last vestige of the Luchador's uprising has been purged from our lands. Good riddance. Get more words, we get more PP though. Um, that in, the, in this curse, I mean, I like the five percent more PP, but honestly, with our conscription laws, oh, well, that's not good. Um, we lose some stability, infrastructure, construction speed, resource efficiency gain. You get more attack and defense if you keep going up. So we don't really need more population for now. I'd prefer to get something else like attack. Like, planning speed's okay, but attack would be really nice. But now we've got to rescue our guy. God dang it. Go right on ahead. Alright. Anything else here? No? Drastic measures? No, I guess we, we're we done f establishing a connection. Oh, steamy. 20 caps. That's not enough. 6 caps, huh? Oh, boy. Baby, you want to join forces? You want to join? You, me, and a lot of ghoul army members? Oh, I think they, they let us join. Oh, this is so nice. 
Head on down there, my boys. And Juan, hope you do okay down here. Let's go and grab, uh, what is it? Mysterious Stranger? Yeah, that'd be good. Anything else? Angel? Very nice. Oh, you wanna give us stuff? Cool, yeah, I guess we could use that stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, they're really just pushing through here, huh? That's really not good. Help hold the line, my friends. Help hold the line. Um, do we have anti-tank on our guys? We should have anti-tank, right? We... Oh, crap, we don't. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. So bad. I forgot to get that. I forgot anti-tank. God dang it. Crop rotations. Oh, my goodness. So bad. Yeah, no wonder we're not doing well. No wonder they're overrunning some of our allies' divisions. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I'm gonna have to redo this then. Yeah, that's my fault. I didn't realize that we were gonna get attacked. Hold for now. Hold for now. Don't worry about attacking again. Hold, hold, hold. Oh, this is so bad. We might have to give up on these guys. Yeah, let's do, let's do that. Sorry, guys. Hmm. Just in case. Oh, we lost probably quite a few guys already. Oh, we can't even see that. Okay, one. Cool. Thank you. All right. Well, that's not good. Let's get this research done faster, please. Three weeks. That's not too bad. Oh, I should have researched that a little bit sooner than later. Oh, boy. Dig in, boys. Dig in. If these guys die, well, then we'll resurrect them. It's fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, we've lost a lot of guys. My bad. That's completely my fault. Confessions? Wedding bells? Yes, please. Is love a tender thing? Many relationships in the wasteland are born out of necessity, advantage, or cruelty. For there's little love to be found in the violent, despairing world of the wasteland. As a bandit and queen stood alone in the ruins of Los Mokis, it's hard to say if there was love in the pitted hand outstretched or in the shallow kiss that graced it. Perhaps there was a little less than romance, and a little more than friendship, but love is hard to find in the wasteland, so perhaps it should be taken in the forms it can be found, in a rough poem, a bowed head, and a twitching, scarred smile. Family is everything, but think bigger. Let's think bigger first. Where the certain annoyance finally dealt with, it's time for the cartel to look outwards. We've been content to spread our influence by subterfuge thus far, but our victory over the luchadors has shown the benefits of military might. Let's mix things up a little bit. Let's not do that one. Tone and oppression, no. Wait, where is the... Oh, preparations, okay. Such an occasion of celebration, merriment, and triumph has not been seen in the land since of Sol Sinaloa for centuries. We must properly prepare our nation for our people for the upcoming festivities. Oh, we get more civilians. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Oh, we just get it done immediately. Nice. Yeah, this is my fault. I should have realized that we didn't have anti-tank yet. I really should have just researched it faster than this. Oh, my goodness. Because you can't kill them if you don't have anti-tank. You just, you just straight up can't. It's impossible to. Maybe not impossible. It's extremely hard. The little guys? Rewrite the will. Um, let's do the best minds of Mexico. What else do we want to do here? Quiet Fury. We do definitely want to do Quiet Fury. Professionalism is in, in battle is both an art and a science. The knowledge not only of how to kill, but when, where, and why is a skill that produces a true warrior where before there was simply a killer. This is so bad. Yeah, but we gotta abandon them. Um, we're gonna abandon all this area. Oh, so you guys come all the way up here. Boom. And we will fight them back. Go ahead and leave if you can. That is okay with us. It's okay to leave. Thank God we got him. And thank God we had some blueprints too. So, there you go. Do that. Uh, do that. Go down to like two for now. Super, super necessary right now. Cool. Keep building, 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 building. And get some of that too. You might need that. We might literally just need that. So, abandon the line. Abandon our lovers. Actually, hold on. Will this glitch out if they're dead? F benefits of friendship. Uh, you can do it. Why not? Ah, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Miniature circuitry? Cool. Radar would be okay. Uh, I guess construction speed. Going to leave. Get out of there, get out of there. Just start defending. Oh, we, we got overran. God dang it. My apologies. I was just so... I'm not so ready for this. Like, come on, man. Man, I hate Zapata. Cancel only, so that makes sense. Sorry, guys, we're gonna ban you. We love you, but we're gonna ban you for now. Let's get a lot more anti tank. Uh -huh, I guess. God dang it, another agent was captured, huh? Now, how was another agent captured? We're already trying to rescue one of them. Well, that sucks. 
Alright, at this point, we gotta do some emergency stuff here. There you go. Go one, go one, go one. Maximize this. We need more, 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 more now. And throw on that anti tank. Doesn't matter. You get it on here. And as soon as they continue to attack, 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 attack. There we go. We got that one done. Nice. Anyone else get uh, taken out, maybe? No? Yes? Cart There's a lot of cartel infiltrations we could do. Wow. Um, in the meantime, let's go and do this. I'd rather know what the enemies are planning, just because that would be pretty, a pretty good idea to do. Defend, 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 because we can't afford to do anything else right now. We just need so much more anti-tank. We did lose quite a few divisions. Actually, let's see. How much money do we not have now? We got a little bit more money. Not great, but a little bit more. Depending on the river, it should be okay for us, though. Side channel attack is good. Do some of that as well. I don't want to attack. I just don't want to attack yet. I want to make sure that all of our areas are secure and that they cannot kill us off this way. Come on and take it, guys. Go, come on and try to take it. See what happens when you do it. That too. Put you to the bottom. We need more military factories immediately. Um, offense would probably be pretty good to do. Max planning factor, defense, core attack on core territory. Uh, that would be better to do. Lose some stability. Um, we could probably just jump up to here, actually. War support. You actually get more attack and defense. I won't get that one. That'd be good. Can we actually core this place yet? Yes, we can. Nice. 118 is pretty good. Focus fire. Great. Uh, we already have some of these guys on here. Let's just keep using some ballistics. Actually, just eh, that's a little bit ahead of time. Let's go with LMGs. We already have those guys, so we must have used them, right? Quiet violence. Pretty good. Squad tactics. Yes, please. Rather than organize our troops into large uh, battalions, a focus on smaller close-knit squads is needed. Capable of performing duties both in pitched battle and individual missions, these squads will be a welcome supplement to our domestic and international operations. Sound from, from the front. If you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Uh, we don't have enough war sports, so let's grab some political power. Can we call this one yet? Uh, no, we need 230, which is bad, but whatever. Come on, guys. Deal with the resistance. Put on all the resistance, so we have it. Are these guys dead? Oh, so this is so... Can't see this. That sucks. I don't know why they're not attacking yet. But you know what? The longer we wait, the better, we're, the stronger we get. So, especially in our oh, no, they are attacking. Look at that, beautiful. Ah, my bad. We lost five divisions so far. That sucks. All right. And eventually, Sabato will get attacked in the rear, and then we start abusing his rear as well, which would be nice. When in doubt, abuse the rear, I guess. Don't quote me on that one. That sounds very weird. Um, yeah, there's definitely this is going to be really risky. I don't want to catch you guys down in half, but we could try it and do that. Energy cells looking okay. Not great. If we leave, will they be baited into attacking us? Not yet. They still want to attack us over here, which is fine. But we need a few more guys to get attacked here. Minus 500, which is better than minus 800 earlier. So it's looking not too bad. We could do that, but let's grab some more output first. They're not taking this tile, which is weird, but okay. Oh, crap. There we go. Now I'll throw you guys back in here. Uh, let's be a little bit safer than that. So. Go in, go in, go in. Come on. Are you going to move? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You guys take way too long. Holy crap. You guys suck. You guys suck so much. Go in there. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ, these divisions suck. <laughs> They're so bad. We just lost three divisions. Screw that. Force the attack. Kill them off. You literally have no choice but to kill them off right here, right now. Wow, that, that sucks. That really sucks. Send half you guys and just come over here. Um, and send you back. There you go. Cool. All right. Jesus Christ. What the heck is going on here? Yeah, okay, I'm going to have to redo this just because Zapat, I'll be honest, it's always slow lock suns are overpowered. They're not overpowered, but they're extremely strong, extremely strong. So I'm going to go redo this a little bit off screen real quick. All right, everyone. So it isn't quite much better, but I replay this just a little bit. We've got anti-tank. We've got all sorts of things on our guys. Mafiosos looking okay, even though I've already lost a couple divisions. But apparently Zapata, like I said earlier, is extremely strong. 
extremely strong, at least compared to us, because we're, we're only a simple cartel. As you can tell, well, the other cartel died. Um, the Vice Royalty and Ejercito Libertador del Sur basically already peaced out with them, which actually worked out kind of well for us, because all they had was two divisions there. But now we're really sucking really hard, because I'm not really sure what we can do against um, Zapata. I don't know. The, the meta has changed in a way since the most recent update at the time of this recording that <sighs> infantry is not great, but all we have left are special forces, really. And motorized are okay. We'll see what happens. But our dancing day. It's a rare occasion, indeed, that draws a whole of Mexico together. Half business merger, half wedding, the reunion of two cartels drew well wishers across the lens. Fantasma and Colabri Capos. Badland captains and dignitaries from Rio and Atzalan, only unofficially, of course, with a rare appearance of the Baron himself. The Generalissimo arrived late, but made up for it with generous gifts of libations and entertainments, winning himself a spot as the life of the party. At the heart of the celebration was a table of honor. <coughs> Well, the two drug lords affirm the joining of the two cartels into one nation. As long as crime shall live for richer and richer. And it gets events our dancing day in business and pleasure. Oh. Oh, so we get a lot of cores. Every unit joins... Oh, well, that sucks. That's so stupid. Like, all... We join the nations together, but they're already dead. Man. We get even more weekly stability. Oh, no, we lose that. And partnered in crime, you get more daily political power. Okay. Mi amor por Dios e por ti. Now, what does this one mean? Oh, is this what, like, every unit joins... Okay, so every unit joins the Beltran Love Cartel. So basically, we get annexed to become the other group, I believe, so. Uh, just because of this one, we'll probably go with... Ooh, is it core? The, yeah, we definitely want this one. And business and in pleasure, because when we do add the other cartel, we'll do Mi Amor por Dios e por ti. Oh, and that's pretty cool. We changed our flag, sort of. Gran Cartel. So, we're currently doing the new arms race. Um, while the majority of our arms comes from Genta stock, fortune favors the prepared. Our own munitions factories will supplement our imports and provide a failsafe in the event that the Generalissimo finally loses his marbles, which he probably will. And I'll do a lot of these focuses off screen as well. Pipe weapons are for two bit gangsters and brain dead raiders. Our guard filled troops will have the finest in Mexican weaponry as befitting an organization of our elevated caliber. Fear and loathing and hatred. Oh, yes. Anger is a powerful motivator, but requires a fire inside the spirit that must be coaxed away. It matters not who our troops hate, so long as they channel that fury towards their enemies. No, we can't do that one. Uh, actually. No, we can't do that one. That sucks. Because we can go over there. Which is fine. Whatever. About ghoul hierarchy. Ghouls aren't the best for frontline combat, but their years of experience and reliability make them the perfect commanding officers. Some might call this discrimination, and they'd probably be right. And we're okay with discrimination here, right? We love discrimination, right? Um, and are better class of villains. There are many reasons to fight in the wasteland. Honor, glory, power, to name a few. But these reasons all have the same flow. You can't buy a mansion with honor and glory. The pursuit of profit is the most logical and noble reason to fight, and we stand to make a killing. Nice, to get even more population. And we can really use those experienced soldiers' losses. And then, airborne theory. Planes are no longer the go-to method for running drug running, mainly due to how conspicuous they are, but as a supplementary to our ground forces, it's possible that the shock and awe factor alone is worth the cost of further development and heavy support. Any strategy that puts an inch of steel between me and my enemy fire is a strategy I support. Um, let's see. Only game in town, little guys? We could probably do that one. It'd be rude to neglect the minor nations of Mexico that have yet to be annihilated by the major powers. We should try take the time to fully exploit them before their inevitable tragic demise, the best and brightest. It's hard to believe, but genius can come from anywhere. Amongst the ranks of our dirt-ridden peasantry have arisen a new class of intellectuals ready to solve the problems of the 23rd century on the threat of summary execution. Unfortunately, a cure for a ghoul rash is still forthcoming in civilizing the people. While a fairly low priority concern, the general well-being of our subjects and a life expectancy is perhaps worth improving. Token efforts to clothe, feed, and bathe these mis misbegotten souls is what any caring drug lord would do but with a 23rd century criminal. While we've managed to draw or claw our way back to a civilized state of existence, we're still far cry from the technological mastery of the pre-war era. A concentrated effort to rediscover the mysteries of the old world will be your chance to regain what, that lost heritage. But if you enjoyed the video, even though it's a little bit short, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will be back with you in the next video, in which I'll show you how many men we've lost, which is way too many. But thanks, for watch, for watch, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great rest of your day.